All right, as I tell you every day, we do the teaching and the training here, so I believe everybody will be fine and ready uh, to do the testing and the reading. As we say that uh, uh, we are doing uh, the learning every day, and now uh, from the start, uh, we've been doing the teaching. Yeah, I remember vividly that uh, the first day I started with the greetings, and everybody, I hope uh, you got clearly and you're able to understand our teachings from which uh, got you and... Uh, I did the greetings as we say the salamu in Kiswahili. Uh, wonderfully, wonderfully. Tonight, I wish I'll be doing something else, and I believe that uh, you get settled and listen to what shall be going on uh, dearly and friendly. Uh, still, I'm teacher Emmanuel uh, for the purpose of making us understand Kiswahili and English. Uh, people in all countries and all the continents, I believe you're watching us on YouTube and seeing the great and wonderful work that we are doing to ensure that. Uh, we are fastening and fostering our languages that's both Kiswahili, English, and Somali together with my sister. Right. Uh, without a wastage of time and uh, maybe anything else, today we shall be talking about uh, the compass. Uh, some say compass, some say compass. Uh, in Kiswahili, compass we refer to dira. So for those in other countries, the word compass in Kiswahili is dira. Being USA, being Somali, being South Africa, being Uganda. Rwanda, Burundi, and any other country from the onward understand that the word compass in Kiswahili is a dira. So, uh, this is how we draw our compass direction, and I believe everybody you can see here I've numbered them to ensure that uh, we are marching on and moving on appropriately. Like you see, I uh, will have your one, and then from one, of course, we go direct to ensure that we are coming to two. And of course, this one uh, it's the main, uh, the main fast the main first cardinal of the compass uh, from which we have got also of course from two we go to three uh three that's uh, the second cardinal three here which will make also here up to four and i believe everybody can see up to four haha <laughs> this is wonderful i think it's enjoyable yeah from which uh, we go to a uh, five now this we go right away five six seven eight wow I believe everybody is watching and seeing how uh, we are doing wonderfully and marvelously uh, truly to ensure that uh, our learning is moving on well. Uh, in Kenya here, I told you I'm based in Kenya and I'm a teacher for languages. And as I base in Kenya, we have got uh, Never Eat Sukuma Wiki. Never Eat Sukuma Wiki, which is our training, which is our training. And uh, this one uh, we use in classes to ensure that our things are doing well. For example, never it never stands for the word north, which is a north, and it it is east. Then we are skuma, which is south, and uh, wiki, which is west. So our learners and uh, any other person who is watching us from wherever you are helps us in understanding and knowing of uh, uh, the compass direction. Now we come here. I've numbered number one to number eight as I have your one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Right. Now, what do I mean? Take number one. Our number one is here, which is a north. And this is the direction meaning north. So you check number one, number one, north. And uh, number one, I told you one day we shall do numbers in Kiswahili. One, number ya kwanza. Number ya kwanza, which is one. Now, number ya kwanza, one, which is not in English in Kiswahili, is a kaskazini. Is it? Kaskazini. So therefore, it simply means north in English. Kiswahili is a Kaskazini. So can we repeat together? North Kaskazini. I believe wherever you are, you have repeated and you can never forget that. That's wonderful. One round of applause to our teacher. Hey, <laughs> that's wonderful. Anyway, let's go to number two. And I believe everybody's watching number two, which is number two here. So number two, south. South, wow, south, which is down here, our south. Now, south in Kiswahili is the Kusini. Ha. Some people say Kusini, those who have got poor pronunciation. Friends, it's not Kusini. Kusini is something else, but we say Kusini. So, south, south. Number two, Kusini. South is the Kusini. Uh, without wastage of time or delay, we shall go to number three. Number three is here. I believe we said it, east. So, east in our language, Kiswahili, we say mashariki. 
we say mashariki so east is it mashariki that's wonderful and so great oh when we move on we go to number four on the very cardinal point where we have got uh, the west the west here oh so we say east and the west here now our number four which is west that we said wiki number four west in kiswahili is the magarebi i believe you can see h here we have your letter H that I wrote up here. It is supposed to be in between G and A. I did this intentionally to make sure that I give you work. You rewrite Magaribi by applying here H. So therefore, West is a Magaribi. So West Magaribi. Uh, in continuation, we get to number five. I believe you are following me from start. Because we start from one, two, this was one, we went to two, we came to three, four, now we are at number five. I believe you are watching keenly, listening. Number five, northwest, which is it? Northwest. Wonderful. So, northwest in Kiswahili is it? Kaskazini Magaribi. Is it? Kaskazini Magaribi. It simply means that you take north, which is north up here. And then Magaribi, you add Magaribi. So it is northwest. Kaskazini Magaribi. There is H on top there as well. You write M A G H A R I B I. It becomes Magaribi. We go to number six. We are yet summarizing. Number six. So number six, which is here. And number six in English is northeast. That's northeast. It simply means in Kiswahili is in Kaskazini Mashariki. Kaskazini Mashariki. So here is it Kaskazini Mashariki. And in English we shall say North East. North East. I believe you are following properly. Uh, we are many with the two that we shall be summarizing. And I believe everybody is following us keenly and clearly. Now uh, we are at number seven. Number seven, that's from uh, number six, we get number seven. And in English, it is southeast. It is southeast. Wow. Now, southeast in Kiswahili is the Kusini. Remember, we had the Kusini somewhere? Somewhere here. So, it is the Kusini Mashariki. You also had Mashariki somewhere? Somewhere here. Wow. So, it is the Kusini Mashariki. South. East. Wow. So where do you get southeast? If you go back, this is southeast. And this is what does it mean? Exactly? Kusini Mashariki. Wonderful. Uh, we are just summarizing to the last point, which is now number eight. Our number eight down here. If you follow number eight, we say southwest. That is it. Southwest. And I believe everybody has watched southwest, which is the Kusini Magaribi. Kusini Magaribi. Now, as a summary, I want us to read all together and try to memorize, not only memorize, but understand from today, I believe you don't have a problem with reading um, Compass uh, Direction, both in English and Kiswahili. We shall say Compass in Kiswahili. We said Dira. Number one, North, Kaskazini. South, Kusini. East, Mashariki. West Magaribi, Northwest Kaskazini Magaribi, Northeast Kaskazini Mashariki, and Southeast Kusini Mashariki. Therefore, Southwest Kusini Magaribi. Wow, as I told you earlier, I still remain to Manuel. When you have got a question after we post our training or teaching on the YouTube, you can easily send or post in your question and we shall be answering them both in English and Kiswahili to ensure that our language is clearly and wonderfully fostered to make uh, the people and the world to understand Kiswahili better and better. Thank you for this lesson. Tomorrow we shall be looking at something else. For those who have listened to me and have, uh, tomorrow in fact when I come I'll first ask you the questions. You'll be able to tell me without checking in your book. I know some are taking notes and yet uh, will be uh, copying. Don't, don't copy. Be a good learner. Thank you very much. Have a nice and a wonderful day.